Hello everyone. Um, this is a quick video on how to troubleshoot the um, error when you are trying to configure your um, uh, when you're trying to configure your AD Connect. Um, so I was trying to configure a couple of days ago. I was trying to configure my uh, DC with AD Connect and synchronize all my on-prem user to the cloud. And uh, it was working fine, it was working fine. And a couple of days after, uh, I wanted to set up the single sign-on. And uh, I, I ran the AD Connect and all of a sudden I got this error, right? And I wasn't sure what the reason behind it. And uh, I did all of the uh, uh, troubleshooting step. I went through a couple of um, um, Google uh, blog posts. Uh, but nothing worked for me, and uh, I even raised a ticket with the um, Microsoft support, and even they were scratching their head what went wrong. But uh, after a couple of uh, couple of days, uh, thanks to one of the uh, Microsoft uh, support staff, uh, he helped me out to figure out what's the actual cause. So uh, we figured it out. So actually, he figured it out. So uh, I was hoping that uh, since there is not of documentation about this error it would be helpful for you guys uh, if you ran into the same issue so here's the issue I'll just explain it to you first and I'll give you the resolution as well um, so I've got my um, server running here so uh, while running the AD Connect I got this error right so it's Microsoft key distribution service and I, I did uh, I did went through the uh, log file the even logger and even check the um, uh, AD Connect now log file, um, but I couldn't figure out. So what was the cause was uh, I was trying to organize myself. So I was trying to, um, you know, I've uh, got the SSCM and um, SSCM and uh, SQL Server hosted in this machine. So what I was trying to do was I was trying to move the computer from the from the OU to the um, uh, to the different U, uh, different OU uh, that's my company name uh, I wanted to move all of the computers so that I know that these are the servers that's available so when you do that uh, when you when you uh, when you move the DC from the domain controller when you move that from the uh, DC to the computer it will pop up the issue uh, pop up the um, um, little notification here saying that if you move the object from ED can prevent your existing system from working the way it was designed. So apparently, um, the DC is supposed to be always in this domain controller OU. It could be because there's some um, some um, group policy that's being implemented this OU. I don't know, but that was the reason behind it. So um, I restore the uh, the computer back to that uh, specific domain domain controller and it worked uh, it worked just fine uh, um, unfortunately I deleted all my um, existing Azure AD Connect configuration so I had to you know reset up the whole thing which is kind of a pain but uh, I'm so happy that I, I fixed it <laughs> so hopefully it will help you guys as well